Let's review the things you need to watch for that might be an emergency. If you have any bright red vaginal bleeding that soaks through a pad in an hour or less, if you pass a blood clot bigger than your fist, or have any leg, groin, or chest pain or shortness of breath, talk with your nurse immediately. If you've gone home already, you should seek emergency medical attention for these symptoms. When you get home, it's going to be important for you to know what things to look for or what's normal and what's not. If you start to develop an infection, you might notice some of the following symptoms. A fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius or higher, chills, body aches, fatigue, headache, redness or swelling at the site of your C-section incision or episiotomy, and foul-smelling discharge coming from the vagina or an incision site. These are all signs of infection that you need to talk with your doctor about right away. Signs of a urinary tract infection might be tricky to pick up on if you've had a vaginal delivery. A urinary tract infection is going to cause you to have burning and pain when you urinate. Sometimes this happens with your episiotomy as well, but if that pain or burning doesn't go away or it's getting worse, you need to talk with your doctor about a possible urinary tract infection. Also, your breasts can sometimes become infected. If your breasts become very tender, swollen or red, or if you have spots or redness on your breasts, you need to talk with your doctor. If you have any constipation that is unrelieved by stool softeners or if you're having a difficult time urinating, you need to speak with your doctor about that as well. If you are having any of the postpartum depression symptoms that we talked about earlier, where your emotions are interfering with your daily life or you feel like injuring yourself or your baby, or maybe you've just lost interest in things that you used to find pleasure in, these are things that you need to talk with your doctor about. If you have questions on anything we've talked about today, you can always look back in your Living and Learning book. It talks about a lot more topics in greater detail, or of course you can talk with your doctor. Congratulations on the birth of your baby.